So a disappointing end to this one, and uh, we're joined by Ty Halleck, as always. It's been two weeks, but you're back here now. And uh, your take on the Lions today's game, a good one. They bring us so high, and then seemingly they bring us so low like they always do. Did you have faith at one point? Isn't it funny how it just comes back so fast, how they always do, how they always bring us back down? Even when we threw the Hail Mary at the end of regulation and we got so high, do we not know that the lead balloon was about to drop? I mean, there was no helium in that thing. There's nobody going to float us up and bring us feeling like a miracle. Stafford, once again, leaves you question marks. How tough is he? What's the injury about? And then it comes to a snap, and it sounds like it's a miscommunication. So in the end, Detroit Lions fans, you still got to be excited because we have a ton of talent. And by the way, Mr. LaShore had a 100-yard day, so I get excited about that. But I would agree. It feels like you're just pulled right back into the old-fashioned Lions where once you get excited about them and once they start ruining really well, they do a game like this. And they, at one point, they had scored 21 straight points, 18 straight points, and the Titans answered 21, and then the, the Lions come back with 14 straight. And then in overtime, they have a chance to tie it back up, but Schwartz elects to go for it on fourth and one. And, and whether it was miscommunication or not, do you make that call again if you're Schwartz? Or do you kick the field goal and see how your defense can do, who's been playing pretty well against the Titans? To me, when I'm in, when I'm in overtime, I'm playing for the win as well, but I'm not doing a quarterback sneak. And I'm certainly not putting my team in a position where there should be any communication whatsoever. Run the football all day long. It didn't matter who was at back. LaShore was certainly the best of the bunch. But you were able to move the chains at five, seven, nine yards of carry. There were very few times where you were actually stuffed. So I just would like to have seen a run play. Again, it's easy being me sitting here tonight talking to you. We're, we're all excited about, you know, football in general, but not excited about where the Lions are. I just think they should have ran the football. That, that's just my opinion. In the end, I just am I'm very frustrated with a loss that, quite frankly, does change the dynamic of the season this early on. Yeah, I mean, last year we were looking at 3-0, and and now we're 1-2 and going into Minnesota, who beat the 49ers today that kind of tore us apart last week. But the, the bright spot in this is Mikel Shorts, his first game. He has 100 yards rushing on the day. Do you, do you see that as uh, something they need to go to more in these upcoming weeks? Right, and, and, and I think if you're Jim Swartz, there's, there's very few times in the loss you can get excited about some of the stuff you see because it's hard to focus on the positives. But, hey, we all waited for McKellis Shore to get here. He's here. He's real. He can catch the ball in the backfield. He can block in, in the pass protection. He can, he can make sure that he gives you another option out in the pass game, and he can run the ball well between the tackles. It's something we really needed. It makes our offensive line look better than what I ultimately think they are. And I think Mikel Ashore is the answer for us at running back. And certainly mixing somebody else in with him is a good thing. As he continues to get into shape, I think you'll see him more and more throughout the entire game. But certainly that is the bright spot of this game. A 100-yard rusher and not winning the ball game is kind of a rarity. But they did a lot of things today. Specifically, special teams is probably the biggest disappointment today. Yeah, they had uh, three touchdowns that weren't even scored by the Titans offense it was all by special teams or the defense and that's something that the Lions you know it's kind of been their forte let's come back late in the fourth quarter in the second half but these slow starts are they beginning to hurt them I mean Calvin Johnson didn't really have any touches in the first half but he finishes the day with 164 yards and Stafford who goes down 278 yards and a touchdown I mean they played well enough to win but for some reason again they're on the losing end of this well, I think when you look at it, you look at turnovers. Pettigrew has got to have better ball security. You can't have a 72-yard return on a fumble play, especially in a tight game as it was at the time. And special teams has got to answer the, the bell. I don't care if Graham goes out. Jason Hansen has answered the bell for 20-plus years. He did it today, kicking and punting the football. You, t you need to take advantage of Tennessee when they're missing field goals. And in the end, I look at it this way. Special teams really ultimately cost them in this game. It didn't, shouldn't have come down to the fourth down play. However, I look at this and say, you got to shore up special teams. you got to continue to run that football. And you got to focus on that ball security. Now, defensively, I know they scored – they scored three touchdowns without the defense. But the Lions defense, in the front seven, no sacks today, no turnovers today. Is that a concern going forward that this defense that's supposed to be so stout really isn't performing in that front seven? Well, I think that's really where Jim Schwartz is going to focus, special teams and defense specifically. Offensively, they continue to move the ball. It didn't matter if Sean Hill was in there, which is another great thing, a positive we see today, is having a quarterback of his caliber to be able to walk in uh, behind Matthew Stafford. In the end, those special teams and defense, all these guys up front, the hog mollies are the ones that have to get to the quarterback. They certainly made some plays in the run game.
game. However, you have to get sacks, and they are not getting that done. From Ndamukong Sue, Van and Bosch, all across the board, you, you name a guy, they got to get themselves to the quarterback or it's going to be a long season. It's going to be a long season. That's absolutely right, especially with the Vikings coming up next, who, like I said, uh, beat the 49ers today. Uh, but as always, a pleasure to have you, and we'll have you back here next week to dissect the Lions and the Vikings. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thank Ty. you.